Hello, my warriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Battletech Advance 3062. We are playing some more missions today. And before we do that, we have to take a look at our mech bay because I think our adder, yeah, it was the adder, got a little bit of a punch last time. It's not a big deal. We can repair it in one day and it only costs us 72,000 C bills. And I would say we're gonna wait for the adder to be ready and then we're gonna dive directly into the next mission because right now we have some money problems. However, we won't fix the money problems by negotiating for money. We're gonna go for all the salvage here because we are playing against the clans and I want to get some good stuff out of here. Also, we should really look out for maybe a pilot that is able to pilot a tank. Let me go to the hiring hall. Maybe we find somebody here. Uh, we got some vehicle specialists here. I mean, we gotta train them pretty hard, but I think this is worth it. Yeah, let's go with that. So we have Jive and Pizza. I mean... Both of them have, like, no affinities and no special skills, seemingly. Yes, Commander. I think I'm gonna get myself a pizza, yeah. Oh, but I cannot fit any more mech warriors because I'm missing the barracks. I have to kick some people out if I wanted to get that. And it's two people that I have to get rid of. Oh, a boy. Let me think about it real quick. What's up, boss? I mean, we got, we got Corsair. Corsair is already pretty trained, and he's one of those Kickstarter pilots that has... Uh, I like those people. I don't want to get rid of them. I mean, maybe Ice Tray. Who cares about Ice Tray anyway, right? I'm gonna change ice for pizza. Medusa is actually quite good. And I mean, those guys already have a good chunk of passive uh, training behind them. What about Caveman? What about that guy? I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna drop it. I need a vehicle pilot. So I'm gonna say goodbye to Mr. Caveman. It hurts. It really hurts. I don't want to do it. All right. Let me see. Engineering. How much for the beta parts? 900,000. Oh, my God. Um. All right. I think that's what we do now. We're going to kick some people out of here. Since nobody can really pilot any tanks. And, I mean, I don't need your footing on this guy. It's okay. Get out of here. And then we got Ice Tray, who's also going to get kicked. Oh, it hurts. But I need that one open slot in order to get Mr. or Miss uh, Pizza. Alright, let's get Pizza in here. She is the better pilot out of the two of them. Because more... Yeah, actually, it's debatable. She's okay. She's fine. We're gonna take her. New mech warriors available. So, it's not a mech warrior, it's a tank warrior that we have here now. Also, do you come with kind of base experience? Is that a thing? No, it's zero XP. Alrighty. By the way, I have somebody who is able to drive vehicles, but it's Wedge. It's my commander, and I've already trained him. I've already trained him into some mech skills, so, eh, it's fine. Alrighty. Let's get into the mission, guys. Let's do it. We're playing Two Skull. We are playing Recovery. Getting all the salvage in the world, obviously. And, cool thing, we can now bring an SRM carrier to the field. Drove him, driven by a pizza. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Droven. Yeah, good good, good German English. Good, Not even English. Not even German. That's kind of a weird word that I thought it would be, but it's not. Okay. So, quickly checking. Okay. My 3D printer behind my monitor is printing things. So, uh, right now, I'm at the start of a build. I'm at the start of a print and I just wanted to say if the layer adhesion is good. So, for all of you guys who know 3D printing, that's kind of the most important layer. And I think the first layer was okay. And it's building up upon that now. Alright, so, there we go. Uh, by the way, I'm printing, uh, I'm printing Gasland templates. I don't know if you know Gaslands. It's kind of like a post-apocalyptic death race. You're gonna uh, take some Matchbox or Hot Wheels car from your children and you modify them with your good old Warhammer 40k bits or whatever you have. And then you paint them and you put some terrain on the table and then there are some rules and templates. It's a super cool game. I love it. Very cheap entry point because you need two cars. And again, Hot Wheels car are like one or two bucks each. And you can just start right away. Put some soda cans as terrain on the table and you're good to go. I love that game. It's really cool. And I'm... Uh, Printing some templates right now for mines and napalm that you can drop in smoke and oil and stuff like that. All right, so we're here. Enemies are here. So we got two bases and we are not in active combat yet, which means uh -huh. we're gonna sprint. The not hunchback is very much up front, but I think it's fine to have him there. Here comes the carrier. Move Ooh, this carrier is gonna be. Oh. It's gonna be very slow in the rough terrain area here. I don't I think ya. it's able to do anything I'm here, really. But we'll see about it. I'm there. Actually, I'm just gonna move this. 
I actually am moving him back because I want my ECM around everybody. Affirmative. Bringing this guy over Rolling. here, having seven evasion, and now the fight is on. We have acid ammo on this? I mean, that's pretty cool. Will we ever be in range? No, <laughs> not on this map. All right, it's my turn, huh? I'm gonna reserve this. I got my ECM going for everybody, so that's cool. And we got seven evasion on the adder. I think the worst thing that could happen is that the forest is lit on fire and we have to deal with some heat here. But I think it's gonna be okay. So, a bunch of turn eights. I am a little bit afraid of this here. Low initiative means usually bigger targets. Still stuff in turn 8 happening, so I believe that's light max, mostly. Ooh. That's more LRMs, but I don't care. It's just an LRM 5, so it didn't really... It didn't really deal damage, and if it did, it Roger wouldn't that. have been Standing so by. big of a deal. Uh-huh. That's an indirect fire um, ballistic, so some kind of artillery. Very direct fire. <laughs> All right. So, Adder, I hope you can stay there. I hope you're alive. I hope you Good to go. are okay. Ready for orders. Let's try. Let's see what we can do here. I honestly want to sprint and get as much evasion as possible, but maybe that's not the right call here. I mean, this is evasion six. And we got line of sight to the tanks. Let's Double do time. it. Let's go. So, I see Epona. Epona has to go. Ultra auto cannon and a streak. Or two streaks, even. That's two ER medium and an LB2. So yeah, we got our target. One of the lasers hit. And he's down to 18 armor. Waiting on you, Commander. Cool. So we're gonna follow up on that by sprinting the bushwalker in. Come on, AC10, one time. Tell me what to shoot. We got it! I was not I thinking that we would hit that. Alright. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Great! Amazing! Let's go. Let's go! Let's shoot some LRMs! Damage is not optimal, but damage is okay enough for me. Yes, Commander. Decker coming in with the Gauss rifle. Maybe I should have shot the Gauss Double beforehand. Let's go. Oh, 60%. That should be good. Affirmative. Oh, maybe not. That Gauss slug, it just drilled itself into the ground right in front of us. Good thing is that we got the Cicada, which is fast enough to get into the fight. The problem with the Epona is... Oh, no, it's the Epona. It's the Bandit here. It has a lot of armor. It's 200 armor plates all around. And it's actually quite fast. It's not really doing Commander? damage that much. But it's really hard to crack. And over time, the damage numbers will rack up if you don't deal with them. So let's deal with them. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna take that seven evasion. I am the wind. That's a cougar with pulse lasers, ignoring three of my evasion points. Not great. All right, let's deal with Epona going battle lord. Firing on Don't target. overheat, buddy. Epona is down. That's good. The vehicle is trash. No, we're fine. Watch Perfect. Watch. Waiting for orders. Great, and our cicada. Well, Cicada could go in here and go for a ping, or we just attack this guy. I think I'm gonna go with the attack. Roger, Let's speed. go. Let's do that. Affirmative. I think offense is the best defense in this point. In this position. Uh, got a mislinks with micro pulse and ear. Um, wow. Ear, me ear micro lasers and micro pulse lasers and an ear large. And there is the Thor artillery vehicle. What can I do for you? Got it. So this is just a move instead of a sprint, correct? Or is it even anything right now? I don't know. Confirmed. Let me take Decker because Decker has a pretty good weapon to deal with the Cougar. Moving to position. And we can also go Battle Lord here. Let's do it. That's a pretty good um, hit chance. Firing all weapons. We got him open. Geezer is able to kill him now with splash damage coming from the missiles. Unless the cougar is doing something. Ah, oh, he's running away. Which is fair. Waiting for orders. Absolutely fair. Ready to rock. Seems like I cannot hit him directly. Or even indirectly. Um, I'm gonna wait it out here. Let's see what they are doing. Here comes the Thor. 
complete miss. Oh, by the way, I just updated to patch 11.2 or 12 point something. I don't know, something with that one and a two. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, the artillery now has a higher spread. It has higher deviation, which means that you should really be careful when trying to hit something that is close to your friends. What can I do for you? I'm going to reserve further. Oh, you want to reserve with me? All right. Good to go. So Glitch has nothing to do right now, so she's going to just... Actually... For Pizza has nothing to do, so we're gonna use her to bait a move out of my enemies. Making that insignificant turn that I would have done anyway. And hoping that these guys will show themselves so that we can me. retaliate. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Problem is, um, we're not really in range. We would shoot through our cicada, through our hunchback. It's not a good shot, I'm not taking it. But again, making an insignificant turn happen, so that I have the chance to pull out um, the missiles later. What are your orders, On the target where it makes sense. I mean... Yeah, this makes sense. Copy that, Commander. It's not the best shot in the world, but hey, this guy has very little armor. Each point of damage will be a huge, a huge progress. Cool. More mechs coming from the right side. So far, I'm not really scared. Yeah, there's an adder again. Cool. And there's some something more. Alright, so we see a bunch of mechs on the right side. And they are bringing missiles. But that's okay. We can deal with that. Next up. Should be one of my mechs, correct? I'm ready. It is my adder. I can only shoot one laser, though. I have to sprint, by the way. Alright, let's do it like that. Move. Trying to get the adder a little bit out of harm's way, a little bit further away, and I will attack the Kuga with a single laser. Engaging target. Yeah, it's only 20%. It had a higher hit chance than the Mistlings, but hey, we tried. The problem that I'm seeing right now is that my Cicada is not in a good spot. Thanks to the sensor lock last round, we have two uh, evasion pips less. And again, the pulse lasers ignore three of them. So Cicada is standing there with her pants down. Alright. As long as they're spreading up, it's good. Ah, the good old trusty bushwalker. I like that thing. Hmm, speaking of. Yeah. Yeah, that's a kick attack. I'm gonna go for that. 69% on my laser chance. I'm gonna take that as well. Let's go. On the leg. Come on, knock him down so with the bushwhacker can follow up with good hit chance. No, that wasn't a knockdown. I hear ya. Hmm. I mean, the waka still has a good chance. But you know what? I'm gonna split it up like that. The waka is going for this guy. Since the Kuga is almost down, and there was a chance we could destroy this thing. Also, we had the better hit chance overall. Uh-huh. And if not, you know, there's still stuff coming. We still have the Hunchback. We still have the Trap. Ah, the Thumper Artillery is now endangered of hitting friends. Therefore, it's only going in with the medium lasers. Pretty good. What do we want to destroy here? Standing by. Alright, I'm gonna take Mr. Decker and hit the Kugar. Hopefully. Engaging with target. Not enough. Not enough. Oh my god. Huh. I really want those pulses out. I'm also afraid of those ER lasers. Uh, the, the yellow ones, the support lasers here. Because I believe they ignore evasion altogether. Um, hmm. Multi-target would be amazing now. What do we do? How do we do it? Alright, let me get my three evasion. That's good. I think I'm gonna go with the mislings. Also using Vigilance. Alright. The mislings is not destroyed. Holy crap. I thought it would rip him apart. At the very least, we got the knockdown. So that's negative one initiative next round. But anyway... Hmm. Well then. Here they come. 
Jenner is going guarded. Alrighty. An adder coming in with an LB5. And again, a large pulse laser. Ooh, headshot. Uh, Commander, I'm hit. Five activations, guys. Ah! We don't even need to destroy the guy. He got killed by his friend. <laughs> or punched out, stressed out. So we made the right choice, technically. Oh, that's nice. That's really good. Yeah, the headshot was devastating. That's an injury on Decker, and he's bleeding out in five turns. I'm receiving you. We've got to do something about that. All right, sprinter. Want to try to get the carry on the right flank? Now it's my turn. No, it's the Mistlings' turn, sadly. So he didn't do so much. That's the good news. What is going on, Decker? Compound fracture, right leg. The pilot has a broken leg and is suffering from a movement penalty. Penalty even. Uh huh. Yes, Commander. All right, fine. So, where to go? Six evasion is where, where, where I want to be, what I want to have. The adder would be an excellent target, but I think the thumper artillery is a thing that we should take out now. Punching all the buttons. Stray shot against Cicada? What? Come on! Can't take much more of this. this is not looking good anymore. I thought we were fine, but we weren't. We aren't. Kid Fox coming in. All right. Your large, some small lasers and machine guns and AMS and stuff. It's okay. Okay, Mr. Adder. I mean, at the very least, they are doing me the favor of splitting the damage. My old mama can hit harder That's a lot of that. heat. So, turn eight. Something with LRMs. No. Eight ATMs? Ten damage? What are your orders, Skipper? Ooh, so many targets. So, so many targets. Let's take Let Behemoth first. She's gonna go ahead and she's gonna punch somebody. Kick punch somebody. Wait. So we have two turn sevens. Commander. This hit chance is garbage. Is the Thor artillery vehicle really dangerous right now? I don't know. I'm gonna attack the adder Location. for maximum damage. It's 40 to the leg as well as more to the top. Lots of hits on the arm. So we destroyed a large pulse laser. That's already an achievement. Means that I could technically leave the adder where it is right now. Hmm. Weird. Uh, by the way, I moved the cicada over here because if I moved and stomped on the Thor artillery vehicle, we would have gotten no evasion afterwards. I want to have some evasion. Definitely. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go, I guess. Huh? Can I get three? I can get three. Three evasion, that is. Can I destroy? That's the question. Attacking from the other side now. So, no. I'm going to attack this dude then. Here we go. That wrecked? Is that wrecked? Like I mean, technically. <laughs> so he can still go melee. Here comes the Thor. But again, since he's so point blank, he's not gonna attack with his artillery. That's good. Waiting for orders. Alrighty. So I'm gonna go over here and hit that adder. Just a bit of follow-up damage, I think. Or we can attack the Thor with a very good hit chance, but the Adder is more dangerous, so... Again, as long as the Thor is not doing anything... Uh -huh. It's not shooting his artillery, we can leave it where it is. And there's more where that came from! There's definitely more. Commander. So, we got five, <laughs> five activations, holy crap. Heading out. Becca, you're fine. You're gonna be okay. Listen to me, man. You're gonna survive this. I know that I can stop the bleeding by going for this active ability hit, first commander. aid here, but I want to keep going. I need the damage now. Hello, Jenna. <laughs> 34% on both Jennas. That's a Kid Fox. I mean, this guy's only cover is not guarded, and I think acid is the right thing here. Holy crap, let's go precision strike. And give him hell. Actually, the last shots should be normal. So acid is really good at applying. There, 
damage to armor. But it deals less damage to structure, and therefore the last few shots after they they have lost all the armor are gonna be the normal shots. Sadly, it wasn't enough. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way. He's like, ah, pew! <laughs> Holy crap. And and Giza is like, like bracing for impact in his cockpit. And he's like, wait, what? What happened? <laughs> or maybe he snarled at him while he was coming towards him. Holy I crap, that was hilarious. That was so good. Oh, man. All right, uh, flank attack. Let's go. Kill the general before it can do harm to us. Uh, Battle Lord? No, we're gonna go Precision Strike. Here we go. Let's get that side torso off of him. We can do this. Let's go. Did we get it? Only one hit. I expected two, honestly. Like that shot. So one side torso and then the follow-up damage would have gone to center. It was not enough. But hey, we got some weapons off. Yeah, this adder can be ignored for the moment. It's gonna be alright. Also, Jenner is turn 6 thanks to the pushback from the Precision Strikes. I always forget that that happens. That we push them back in any when we are going for one of those. This is ridiculous, by the way. Very good use of an active probe. Standing by. Okay, 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 okay. Um, next. We can kick punch the Jenner. Can we kick punch the other Jenner? We can. I will. Affirmative. Let's go. On for physical attack. I think my plan, my battle plan right now is just taking their firepower away. I don't need to actually confirm to the kills right now. Alright. I mean, that's a full kill. Well done. Problem is, the Thor is gonna do a... Th no, wait, it's not the Thor, it's the other Jenner. Cool. That means I have another shot against the Thor before it can act. And we have somebody Confirmed. that can go over... Right here. Go for a kick attack. Yeah, we shoot the... Copy that, Commander. The scatter stuff. Here we go. Let's go with missiles. Oh, a miss, really? Old man, what's going on? He's probably still laughing his ass off in the cockpit. Alright, so the Thor has another turn. Ooh, that is a structure exposed. Well done, mister. Well done. I hear ya. It's okay. We're gonna finish this now. Let me quickly think. Is that what I wanna do? I think it is. All right, Don't let's kick the Jenner me, to smithereens. Very nice. And we have the ability to go... Oh, wait, we can go up against the Kid Fox with our missile carrier. However, the Kid Fox has AMS like crazy, so anti-missile system. Gotcha. I don't know if it's going to be so impactful here. You could fry an egg in here. Still overheating. Nice. Getting pretty hot in here, I want to see what pizza can do. Maybe it's a good idea to go up against this guy. But then there is my trebuchet standing right in front of him. Not good. Not good at all. So this is what we do. Yep. Confirm. I mean, you got an AMS, but I got a lot of missiles. <laughs> Reporting critical hit. Perfect. Yeah, we are getting Ready there. You got four activations, buddy. Stand and shoot, go battle lord, and destroy the tank, please. Not with the lasers, but with the gauss rifle, maybe? Oh, really? What is going on? 87% and you don't hit? Oh, man. Yeah, that guy's getting more and more stressed. We gotta finish the mission fast now. Kid Fox is done. Or is he? Not quite yet. Ready for orders. Okay. All right, Edda. Here we go. I will go all in to get that kill here. Welcome to my alpha. I know that I will go overheat, but it doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter because my initiative tells me that we're gonna finish what is left on the battlefield now and nothing is gonna shoot us. Uh, Alright. Shutting down. So that's gonna be the Foxy Kid? Is it gonna be the Foxy Kid? I could take my Cicada and run away already. Yes, Commander. Hmm. Hmm. We have enough time. It's gonna be okay. I copy. So we bring you over here, take the Kid Fox, and hopefully get the kill. I could have also danced around this guy and shot him in the back, but then I would have my back against the tank. And that's the thing I didn't want. Critical hit. Punch out, perfect. So, one last activation of the tank. It's a flank attack. It's not good, actually. He's attacking my right side. But the arm holds. Cool, I think at this point we just won the game. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna take Giza to actually finish. From the back with the kick. I'm there. I could have shot my my lasers at this time. But it is not necessary. Beautiful. Alright. Frag the vehicle. Cool. It's technically possible to take the thumper and put it into the hunchback, I think. But the Gauss rifle is Waiting on you, quite okay, I would say. Right, so we need to Going push together. through the base before Decker bleeds out and just get Here out of go. this. Uh, three activations remaining. That's okay. Roger that. Race yourself, I'm buddy. You. The missile carrier was actually quite helpful here. I gotta say, that was cool. Ten four. So just running, 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 running. Two activations. Moving to position. I hope that the cicada is position. fast enough. Heat damage. Damn it. Uh huh. Order acknowledged. Can we do it? Moving out. Oh, I cannot get through there, right? I think this is restricted terrain. We'll see. Uh, one activation remaining. Still good enough. I can punch him out, I know. But I don't want to. I'm going. Because I would destroy the cockpit then? On my way. Alright, so what happens now? Are we done? You are in here. Confirmed. Eject now or die. I better eject. Punching out. All right. Orders. I don't trust this. I don't know how it actually works in terms of turn order. So Decker is gonna go home. We have the secondary That's all right. Asset, Commander. Bring it home. We got it. Was there anything in the cockpit? Any targeting gear? I don't think so. I think it was still pretty vanilla. It was still basic hunchback stuff in there. So, let's go home with some neat salvage, shall we? So, yeah. Oh, the tag. We lost the tag. It's okay. It's better than getting Decker killed. Now, I think I have another adder or so, right? Did we not get some? I don't know. We could finish one and then get some stuff out of the adder. Or, we take a bunch of Jenna 2C parts, also possible, getting some missile-based mechs online. Would I take a Jenna and bring it to the battlefield? I don't know, honestly. I think my Lance is okay as it is right now. I like it. I don't need another 35 tonner, so I'm not gonna take it. However, those pulse lasers... Three evasion ignore is actually quite massive, especially in the early game, but those things are quite massive. Six tons is huge. Six ton investment for 55 damage with very good accuracy. Is that worth it? 55. It's, it's okay. It's good. Ish. Got some streaks here. Really want to make streaks happen as well. There's the Thumper. There's an Ultra Auto Cannon 10 clan. And I always wonder if that's better than the Gauss Rifle because it shoots twice. You could just take the XL engine for money. And I think I will. Let's just grab some money so we can upgrade the Argo a little bit more. And we don't get any heat sinking, sadly. So, what's the last pick? Could be Pharaoh. I could slap Pharaoh on every mech and be done with it. Alright. 
Let's do it like that. And then, of course, we're going to get some random salvage. And it's going to be three Kuga parts, one Edda part, one Jenna part, the Large Pulse, and SRM6 Clan. I should have considered that. Since my... I should have definitely considered that. My, my Bushwalker still runs Inner Sphere missiles, short-range missiles. And this SRM6 is going to be a big upgrade. Two Pharaoh, bunch of Omnis. Uh, we got some ammo. Oh, and yeah, you were talking about... You were talking about lower arm actuators on the adder. I need to really recheck that. Maybe I can put a lower arm Omni, obviously, actuator on the adder. And uh, have more accuracy for my heavy large lasers. That would be amazing. However, there is nothing we can do on this planet anymore. We definitely played all of the missions here. Alright. So, that means we're going to go somewhere else. However, before we do that, I need to check. So, the Hanshi needs a refit. Oh boy. We lost the tag. I think I still want a tag. Because the mech is not the fastest. Do I... Oh my god. So, hear me out, guys. Currently, I have some, some foot actuators here that help us deal a lot of foot kick damage. This Gauss Rifle has a minimum range, so when we are in point-blank range, we will have a very bad chance to hit when shooting the Gauss as follow-up. This is what I'm gonna do now. I will drop that. I will get an Ultra Auto Cannon 10 in. I really hope I have the ammo. I have 5 bins of Ultra Auto Cannon 10 ammo, so that's what we're gonna be doing here. It's gonna be two bins, that's 20 shots, so two alpha strikes, uh, sorry, 10 alpha strikes. Uh, this guy has no minimum range. This guy deals 120 damage compared to the 75 here, or 70 even. So, and it shoots twice, so we have a higher chance of dealing reliable damage. That's good. I think this is what we need on this mech. Problem is the cooling. So, what about... What about dropping the airdrop? This thing helps, but I'm rarely using it right now. So these two tons are just gonna be reliability and heat, okay? No gyro upgrades, by the way. I think this is the better hunchback. Okay, cool. So the trap just needs repairs, that's good. The adder got a critical, so we gotta fix that on the upper leg. Alright, got it. But hey, let's see if we can go for actuators. Omniport lower arm. It's not permitted. It might be the variant. It might be this adder that is not allowed to pick lower arms. The D variant that we have. Or H variant that we have here. Mech support only up to upper right arm. So this might be a... This might be a restriction based on the variant here. Alright. I'll take it. Right. Cool. I'll get it in Storage tells me that we can build a cougar. Oh boy. I wouldn't say no to a cougar. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, what do we have here? Uh, built around a pair of LRM 20s, each with Artemis? I mean, you know I love that. There's an E variant with ATMs. The Prime. Uh, let me see. It's two LRM-10s and the pulse lasers. Oh my god. And then there is that with a trio, an auto cannon 5 and a trio of heavy medium lasers. I don't like the ballistic one here. So it's either double LRM-20 with Artemis, that's gonna be so accurate. Or the pulse laser. Oh, AT ATMs. I mean, ATMs are nice. I like Artemis. Man. Is this my cold? Is, this, is, this, is it cold enough here? Also, let me think about my, my builds on my max. This trap. This trebuchet is still running an LRM 10 and an LRM 20. I want this to be two 20s. We're gonna build the LRM Cougar and we're gonna take the Artemis system and build the trebuchet up. So, it's just something that we just salvage, alright? Yeah. Uh, prime. This and this. Actually. Cancel this real quick. No, it's still fine. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Actually, no, no, no. We're gonna take the prime parts because I'm 
the least interested in the Prime, correct? Nope, the Prime is the pulse stuff. Never mind, we're gonna take the other parts. Right. So H, E, Prime. That's how we do it. We gotta know what we're gonna keep. Man, that's a Cougar. There it is. Look at this little guy. I love Cougars, they are so cool. Is Cougar the better adder? The answer is yes. The Cougar is the better at the better adder. The better adder? Um, because it has more weight to work with. It can carry more weight. It's a bit slower. That's for sure. But if you make it a second liner, it's gonna be okay. So we can actually take everything from the adder and put it in here. Also, that guy is running lower arm actuators. I think it, this is the superior 35 tonner. Maybe. Alright, we're gonna take all of this here. Because all of the Artemis stuff is gonna definitely go into my trebuchet. 100%. I wonder if I should make this an ATM boat now. No, I mean, I got some stuff here. It's just that. ATM 6, ATM 12. <laughs> we are horribly over... over... or undercooling. But yeah, maybe maybe that, a bunch of lasers. One ATM 12. Or maybe the heavy lasers, I don't know. We will see about it right now. I need to take this out. You know Alright, so the next big thing, before we go to another planet, is the following. We will sell a lot of stuff. First of all, Arcticheater, be gone. Next thing, we're gonna take all of our XL engines. And we're gonna sell all of them, except for like, two. It's another two million seabills. Beautiful. Um, anything else here that I want? Funny thing is, I could buy a long tom now. I mean, almost. But I think I don't want to. I think my carrier is fine. Cool. I mean, we got it. Means we can actually get the beta parts online. Or the second mech bay. Sure thing. It'll take a bit. I'm gonna take the mech bay. So, and that means we can now go and travel somewhere else. The planet that we are on right now is one and a half, but I think we can easily go for a two skull planet. So we will go right over here. It's 15 days. It's not even far. And we're gonna stay in clan space. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Alrighty. In the meantime, the hunchback is being built upon. Uh, what's that? Uh, you come across Giza and the mech bay arguing with Yang over the best fusion cores. Before you can sneak out, Giza calls you over. Hey, Commander, maybe you can settle an argument for us. What's the best battle mech engine? Boring as Yang here says, by quality, by blah, 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 blah. That's crock of shit. Everyone knows the best engines are made by GM. Um... Alright, Giza. I gained a 360 XXL. I should have read that until the end. But it's pretty good. Holy shit! I've got the financial report. We just got a double XL build? Alright. I thought it was just some flavor thing for like high morale or so. Hmm, interesting. So, the trap is ready. I think I just made the right choice anyway. I like XXL engines. So, this LRM10 can go. The medium pulse can go. Because it's gonna be a, like a regular medium laser. Uh, we will... Where is it? Missiles. Here we go. Uh, we will add an LRM... Tw we got two more 20s? What? Interesting. More missiles is good here, especially since we are going for Artemis now. And I think I want a regular laser? Can we have something like a... Boring as medium laser? No? Alright, it's gonna be ER mediums. Heat management is gonna be a little bit of a problem, I gotta say, but we will, we will see about that. Now, um, we got lower arms, we got hands, how do we, how do we lower the, you know, the doobly-doo, the weight? Barrel fibers it is. Before we do anything, I'm gonna go with, uh, where is it, Artemis? We also got an advanced targeting computer that we might want to get into one of our mechs. But now we got Artemis and we need, I would say, four tons of ammo at the very least. So... Maybe it should be five. Hooray. So, <laughs> that's our trap right now. Interesting. What we can do, however... Oh, where's armor here? Armor and structure. 
There we go. We need one and a half tons. We have a double XL engine. We need we need more slots though. All right. Still not enough. There we go. That's perfect. Double XL. I mean, it's okay. Takes a lot of days and a lot of money. Is a double XL on this guy the right choice? It might be. I'm gonna drop this here. And I'm gonna add another double heatsink and then we should be good. So we got like three medium lasers and we got LR LRM all over the place. That's 40 missiles plus three medium lasers. I think it's gonna be okay. It has to be. Also, by the way, Artemis gives us the following. Allows us to take Artemis ammo. And Artemis ammo gives us uh, plus three direct firing accuracy. And then plus one accuracy. It's just great. It's absolutely insane when you can get into a direct line of sight with that. Which uh, we will get. A lot. Now, the other thing that I want is... Technically another bin of ammo? Heat management is fine. So we're gonna drop this hand to free up a slot. And we're gonna put one bin of extra ammo in the head. It doesn't matter if, if the head blows up or the side torso blows up. No, it's actually, it's actually a big difference. So we're gonna put it in here, right? Actually, let's put it in here. Since again, we are running double XL. It doesn't matter if a side torso goes boom. The mech is done anyway. So might as well just go for the center torso straight away because we have more armor here. It's a bit, it's actually better protected. So let's take that. And I think that's going to be our build. How do we save half a ton? Not even that. Wait a second. It's just we are slightly over tonnage. So shaving a little bit from the legs and we are good to go. I think we just made the make so much better. By just adding 10 more missiles and Artemis. Alrighty. <laughs> Pretty good. They are still injured. We are about to get ready though. Do I want to get my Cougar online? Now I think it's fine. I think it's fine. The Trebuchet takes 18 days until it's refit though. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, you know what? I'm gonna make up my mind for the Cougar. But right now, I'm just gonna wait it out, since we can only work on one mech at the same time anyway. Uh, the Trebuchet has definitely the priority here. So, I'm gonna think about what I wanna do with the Cougar, and we will see about that. However, the time for today is up, and we're gonna see each other in the next episode of Battletech Advance 3062. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. We will arrive at the planet short shortly, and this is where we're gonna continue. Uh, by the way, you can also su support me on Patreon, if you like. And if you have a bit little bit of spare money, the link is down below. It is in the description, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.